Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. Hope you are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to see some interview questions on Java. So whenever you are going to attend some IT company interviews or some uh, any other interviews, uh, Java plays a very important role, especially during the current scenario, Java, C, C++, Python, these languages are very, very important. So we'll be doing an interview series for uh, every uh, language, whichever you are interested. Please mention that in the comment section, which uh, type of questions or which area of questions you want to see in today's video we are going to see some basic questions from java programming okay so this questions i'm going to give us mcq questions uh, so please stay tuned so let's see the questions one by one the questions i have formulated as uh, mcq type i'll be reading out the options and we'll see the answer as well okay so which statement is true about java when talking about Java, which statement is true? It is sequence dependent, whether the Java program or language is sequence dependent, code dependent, platform dependent, or platform independent. So whenever we study Java, this thing we always say platform independent. Java language is platform independent. It is called Vora. Write once, run anywhere. That is Vora, W-O-R-A. You can see now on the screen. Okay. So they are platform independent. Whenever we are taking that to different platform, it will run perfectly. So that's why they are platform independent. The next question is, which component is used to compile, debug and execute of Java programs? Options are JRE, JIT, JDK, JVM. Okay. So this is JDK, Java Development Kit. JDK is used. Inside that there is Java uh, just sorry, just in time compiler, which is used to compile the Java program. So the compiler is JIT, just in time compiler. JDK is development kit, Java development kit. Okay, so that is JDK. It is having all the core components for Java environment. It provides tools and uh, that is used for executing, compiling and debugging of Java program. Okay, now next see the next question which is the third question which of the following is not a feature of java object oriented use of pointers portable dynamic and extensible use of pointers is not a feature of java java doesn't support use of pointers okay now the next question is which is the extension of java code dot js dot txt dot class dot java the extension is dot java itself Java files are saved as .java. When we write a text file uh, or in a notepad, it will be .txt, right? But in Java codes, if you write a Java file, it will be .java. Okay. The next question is related to the OOPS concept. So whenever we study Java, we know it's a OOPS language, right? What is OOPS? It is Object Oriented Programming System. Many people don't even have idea about this thing. Uh, so I just wanted to pass these all information through these videos. OOPS concept is object oriented programming system. Java is one of the OOPS languages. Now this OOPS concept has certain properties and all the languages which follow the OOPS concept, they also follow these properties. And now I'm going to give you some options out of which one is not an OOPS uh, concept or it is not an OOPS property. Okay. Polymorphism. Polymorphism is an OOPS property. Inheritance, we study about parent-child relationship in Java. So it is a OOPS property. Compilation, compilation is not a property. Compilation is the process of compiling the code, making a, uh, finding the errors or what do you say, making it intact. That is the process. It is not an OOPS concept. The next one is encapsulation. It is also an OOPS property. So, except compilation, all the other are OOPS properties. Okay. Next, the next question is, uh, what is the difference between C++ and Java? So, C++ and Java, they have a lot of difference. But the main difference is, C++ is not platform independent, whereas Java is platform independent. We know that uh, Java code is considered as compiled and interpreted. So, once we write uh, Java code, uh, it will run on any platforms provided that that platform is having the Java compiler. So Java compiler will uh, work fine with every platform uh, or every operating system. So if it is there in that uh, system or in that platform, 
Java code will run, you don't have to rewrite the code. Okay. So it is compiled and interpreted language, whereas C++ language is not platform independent. Okay. So that is the main difference between C++ and Java. The next question is, what is a compiler and what is uh, the Java compiler? What is the name of a Java compiler? Okay. So uh, the next question is, what is a compiler and what is the name given to a Java compiler? Okay. So compiler, uh, you should be knowing what is compilation process and what is a compiler. We know we uh, write Java code. We will be using various keywords and we write a proper code. Okay. But this code, how to execute in a computer? Computer doesn't understand any keywords or anything. It just understands ones and zeros, which is called machine language. This is this should be very clear. Okay. So computer or uh, the or your desktop generally understand only machine codes. So there should be somebody to tell uh, what is the machine code of this Java code which we have written or there should be some process of converting the pro uh, the code which is a Java code to a machine language form. This process is called compilation and the tool that we use uh, to convert a uh, higher end code or a Java code or a programming language to a machine understandable form that is in the form of ones and zeros. That tool we use is called a compiler. For the case of Java, we use JIT, which is called Just-in-Time Compiler, which will convert byte codes to machine codes and make it understandable to the computer. Okay. In simple form, just understand, Just-in-Time Compiler takes the Java code and convert that to a machine code, which will be understandable to the computer. Okay. So that is the compiler and JIT is the Java compiler. Okay. The last question that we are going to see in today's video is what are the features of Java program or Java language? This is a very uh, famous or commonly asked type of question. You should be seeing at least uh, some of uh, these features, which is simple and familiar. Java is very simple. Uh, once you study Java, you can actually write a number of codes. You can do various programming with the help of Java. Then it is compiled and interpreted. It is write once and run anywhere. It is portable, architectural, neutral. In, it will run perfectly on any architecture or any operating system. Object oriented. It is the most important feature. All the concepts of uh, Java runs uh, around object. Okay. So we'll go deep into these objects, classes, everything in the next part. Anyway, you should know that it is object oriented. It is robust, secure, distributed. It is having high performance, it is dynamic and extensible. So these are some features of Java. It is a very powerful language. It is very easy to learn. So if you want to get a job in IT company, you should always go for Java language or Python first. Okay, these are two languages which is having maximum demand now. So that's all for today's video. In the second part of this Java interview questions, we'll be dealing with objects, classes and more questions from that side. Uh, and also we'll be dealing with the concepts of object-oriented programming. We'll uh, see each and every feature uh, in more detail. Okay, so please stay tuned to the channel. So please uh, support the channel by subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.